Does anyone else feel like the weather's changed? It's like it's fall outside all of a sudden and today's Thursday, so I was thinking we should make like a folly, cinnamony, pumpkin-y, apple, everything we love about the fall kind of drink. Um, so we're gonna do a warm apple cider, uh-huh, with amaretto. Um, and we're gonna brulee an orange on there. And then what else? <gasps> Caramel apple martini. And I'm not talking about like one of those like green apple martinis that a fagazi would order. Like I'm talking about a dessert, caramel, rich, creamy, beautiful martini. So let's check out what we're gonna do. Let's start with our first one. Our first one's gonna be a hot apple cider. And I have, we're doing fresh orange juice. We got a little um, cinnamon sugar that we're gonna burn the orange, you'll see. Pears and apples, a little vanilla. We got our amaretto, our spiced rum, vanilla vodka, apple cider. And I think we're gonna serve it in a mason jar. Let's get it going. So you're gonna need a pot. If not, you wanna make this a big batch. Uh, message us and we will send you the recipe because I did this now twice um, for a party and we did it in a crock pot and let it stay warm for the party and serve it with dessert, kind of like a mold cider, um, but it works great. So in here in our pot, we're gonna put our four ounces of cider. We have one ounce of spiced rum, just gives that fall flavor. One ounce of vanilla vodka, which the vanilla vodka really helps make it like a little bit sweeter. And then, because it's an amaretto warm cider, one shot of amaretto. I also am adding half a teaspoon of fresh vanilla. I'm going to juice half an orange, fresh orange juice. I'm going to be adding in a cinnamon stick, a couple slices of pear, and a couple slices of apple, and an orange. All in my pot. So we're gonna put this on the heat, low, for a simmer. Um, you can put cloves in there if you like. I personally don't like cloves. I think the citrus and the cinnamon sticks does it justice. And a little side note, you don't want this to come to a rolling boil, and you don't want it to cook out the alcohol because the whole point of having a cocktail is for the cocktail and have a little bit of alcohol in it. And this one's actually a little bit on the stronger side, so you want to just warm it, especially because you want to drink it while it's scolding hot. Now, let's be honest, the reason we love cocktails and they look so pretty is the garnish. So I took an orange and I did some cinnamon sugar. And I don't know if you guys have this, but you get this at the store, a torch. And we're just gonna brulee the sugar for a little burnt while we heat up our um, cider. This will just start to caramelize. It's gonna add, some, let's light this thing back up. I'm doing this one hand, it's not easy. All right, there we go, it's back on. All right, just get a nice brulee of the orange rind. Oh yeah. I'm so serious that you, <laughs> the smell of this, my whole house smells like one of those Yankee candles that we paid $13 for. Um, it's amazing. So we have the mason jar. Our liquid is nice and warm. I'm gonna pour this in. Ooh, yeah. Now, a lot of the apples and the pears, they um, warmed up in here, so I don't like that, they're kind of mealy, and I want to make this nice and fresh. So I'm gonna add fresh cinnamon stick. Here's our orange that we brulee. So I'm gonna cut that, and you see the sugar and the caramel? Hold on, let me show you here. We're going to use, oh yeah, hold on, I just dropped that, but let me find it, there it is. Put in. Fresh pear slices, oh my god, it's so good. Who doesn't love burnt sugar? Fresh apple slices and a cinnamon stick. And you have a warm amaretto sangria cider. So the smell of this is actually ridiculous. It's like, it's so good. It's vanilla and cinnamon. It's all these like savory sweet 
aroma is coming off the cup. Um, I do like it in the mason jar the way it looks. You could serve it in a coffee cup, especially if it's you know, to keep it in the crock pot and keep it warm. Um, The problem with this is every Thursday I get a little buzz on by the end of the videos. I'm actually more excited about eating the brulee orange. This is a win in my book though. Caramel apple will be next. I have it all set up, check this out. So I was like, I wanna do something desserty. I know that everything's been pretty sweet with the whole like apples, but this jumped out at me not only because we are literally lighting it up, Four shots and caramel sauce. <laughs> Let's get it started. We're gonna use a fresh apple for garnish. There's some caramel sauce that we made, um, which you've seen me make before in our videos. A little ice, our shaker, and our booze. Let's get this martini going. Caramel apple martini! Okay, I love my martini glasses. Um, so what we're gonna do, let's bake together. Take a shaker, put our ice in it, in our ice. You ready for this? A lot of stuff coming. Vanilla vodka, one ounce. Spiced rum, one ounce. Apple liqueur, one ounce. Caramel amaretto. This is our key ingredient. Cut all three in here. I love when the whole glass looks, the whole thing gets all like frothy and cold. Okay, in our martini glass. Now, I usually, if I make it a Cosmo dirty, I put some ice water, get this cold. I don't want it to because I want to take our fresh, car fresh caramel. Oh, me. Oh, yeah, mama. Pour it over. Now, let's take it up again. Don't pretend like I'm in the 1950s and just be like, Screams freaking dessert and it screams bugs. And then I just cut some fresh apples and I'm gonna let it go up around closer to the camera. Put it on top. It's sweet. Man, does that rum amaretto hit you right here?